guys. I just wanted to pop on here real quick and see if you guys had any questions for us. We are planning on doing a Q&A coming up in the next few videos. Um, we have a couple of questions from a couple of people that we wanted to address. So if you guys have anything for us, let me know and we'll try to answer them. All right, guys. So we are now mid-January. It is way too cold outside to be doing any resin work out there at the moment. Um, we're kind of picking and choosing our days where we can uh, actually put resin down, fairing compound. We're in a fairing process on the hull. Um, on the cold days and nights, we're going to start laying out bulkheads in the garage here. Uh, we do have a heater, so we can actually fiberglass in the garage. Um, try to get all our bulk bulkheads done. So come springtime when the weather cooperates with us, we can finish fairing, sanding, and then we will be able to flip the hull and start installing bulkheads almost right away. Um, that really should expedite the process here. Uh, so tonight I'm just going to lay out the bulkhead number one. Um, it's the first bulkhead from the bow, back from the bow. And uh, we're going to start there and just kind of work our way through all of them. Um, we have, I want to say it was like 25 different panels to actually fiberglass. We can prep now. That will include all the soles, the uh, the floors of all the cabins, as well as um, all the intermediate bulkheads, the main bulkheads. Yeah, there is quite a bit. Uh, all the window frames, the windshield frames can all get done. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the plan for the next... Uh, probably a couple of months here until the weather really, you know, turns for the better. In the meantime, I say when we do get good days out here, we will definitely take advantage of the good weather, the warmer weather, and try to get some more fairing done. I have to get back out there and do some major sanding. All in all, we have uh, the second coat of fairing compound on the hull. Um, it's looking good so far. Uh, definitely need a little bit more work. Uh, we're definitely not professionals at this, so it's taking a little bit of time doing all the fairing and sanding, but it's coming out pretty well so far. So I'll lay this out tonight. Uh, we're going to cut off any excess foam just to save resin, and uh, we'll go from there, and uh, we'll start doing all the bulkheads. So we have bulkhead number one all laid out here. Um, if you notice, I did mess up here. Uh, what I did was I added 50 millimeters all the way around this, uh, so I brought it up 50 millimeters. Uh, just to give us a little bit of play, just in case anything's off so we can adjust. Uh, I'd rather have it too big and too small. But uh, I forgot to add it on this top mark here. So when I did the curve, it was way off. I noticed it, so I just readjusted. Again, we're leaving two inches all the way around, 50 millimeters all the way around this. And that'll give us a, uh, a good buffer uh, just for any adjustments necessary. So this will be the first bulkhead all laid out. And I did the same thing here, obviously, but again, not a big deal. Um, on the top of this here, there is a camber uh, all the way down, and that uh, allows for the roof of the berth uh, to actually shed water so it doesn't collect anywhere. So uh, it's all accounted for, and uh, I think we're good to go. So what I'll do is I'll just mark rough two inches all the way around, and I'll cut out all the scrap foam here. We can probably use this for a different area. Um, we do have to pay attention to the different bulkheads. Uh, different pieces have different thicknesses of fiberglass on them. Uh, so we'll have to definitely pay attention to that as we're doing this. Um, some stuff gets 1,000 grams. Some stuff gets 800. And some stuff gets 600. So just another thing to uh, take into account while we're uh, doing all this. But uh, that'll be a wrap for tonight. Like I said, tomorrow I'll just give it a quick trim, uh, prep all the fiberglass, and hopefully this weekend we will get this whole bulkhead fiberglassed and up in storage, and we'll start on the next. Today we are doing our first bulkhead indoors because Ooh. it's what? 
19 degrees outside. Yeah, about 19 out there today. <laughs> we do have a nice little heater going in here. And it is, I don't know if you can see almost this. Almost 50. Uh, almost 50 degrees here, depending on your angle. <laughs> Give or take, but uh, it should get up to a, a 65 70 with that little heater going. So we are using total boat epoxy, total boat two to one resin. Yep, and we're going with we're gonna go with the medium hardener, medium hardener and again, it should get up to like 60 65 degrees without a problem in here. So that should be well suited for the temperatures. If you are interested or you need resin, use Total Boat. Go to totalboat.com and enter code Dauntless and you will receive 15% off on your order. It's a one-time use code, so if you've used it in the past, I'm sorry, but you can't use it again. <laughs> but use it. It helps us. It helps the channel. Yep. And it helps you because you save money. All right. What are we using for glass on this bulkhead? Oh, we are using one layer of 12 ounce and then 17 ounce and then we're peel plying. Yep. And that equates to 1,000 th grams. 1,000 grams of glass per side. We're doing one side today. Tomorrow we'll flip it over okay. hopefully and do the other side. In a while. Doing this in a long time. <laughs> I was just saying it feels really weird not mixing stuff into the resin. <laughs> yeah, just straight resin. It looks good though. Yeah, looks good. Came out good. First side's done. We will let this cure overnight and hopefully flip it tomorrow to the other side. Uh, we definitely did run out of propane for our heater. Had to go change the tank. We'll let that come back up to temperature. Uh, Sorry we kept flipping the lights on and off on you, but it was only because we could see the bubbles better. And that's a wrap on bulkhead number one. Make sure you tune in next week to see what we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. Oh, what's wrong? You're very sneezy. Are you alright? Max?
1,000 milligrams? Grams. Grams. Damn it. 